Hello, El Paso. Thank you for joining us on this edition of Your City in Five. We're in Denver, Colorado for the All-America City Award, where El Paso had an opportunity to tell the rest of the nation our stories and all the good things that are happening in our community. El Paso, Texas. It is so wonderful to have come here with all of our partners to be able to tell passionate stories about our city, to talk about all the things that we are aligning to make our city better. It has been such a journey for everyone to come together as a team, 45 of us here in Denver, telling our story. One major part of the All-America City Competition is having to do a 10-minute presentation in front of a panel of judges. We are El Paso, Texas. Yeah. Um, and I think we did a really great job. I'm so proud of our El Paso team that really came together and showcased all of the initiatives that we're doing to really build a strong and healthy community. You had, you know, the Paso del Norte Health Foundation tell their story, um, the city of El Paso, our employees, our HR department, um, through uh, talking about our Shape It Up program. You had the Segundo Barrio Soccer Club um, there. Um, you had uh, our fire guys talking about our CIT program. Um, it was a very, very um, good presentation, and it's so hard to encompass that in 10 minutes. So one of the main things that we're trying to do here is to uh, show through the All-American City Award that this kind of uh, energy, this kind of synergy among the partners at Collaboration is what makes a difference in improving health in our communities. It, and we hope that we'll send that message to the folks here in this competition. It, it's just an amazing feeling. I'm proud to be here. I'm proud to be representing the city because Really, I mean, none of this, to me, would have been possible had not those people been there to help me sort of take me to that next level. It, I, it's awesome because it's it's a team effort. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think that just health will be able to help the community. I think it's like an engagement of different partnerships to make it happen for, for the better of the patients and for our people from our community. Our city came out with a silver award, but they were also recognized for having an outstanding social media presence here at the conference. And the social media award winner is El Paso Tech. Viva El Paso! The All-America City Conference is all about civic engagement with a variety of events throughout the conference, including this cultural entertainment showcase that's behind me. a civic action fair, and plenty of workshops. But the workshops are also very crucial because those are where we can take those ideas and bring them back home. Not only was El Paso representing here at the All-America City Conference, but the city also received an award in San Antonio. That's where we find your city in five's Martin Padilla. Martin? That's right, Rick. We're here in San Antonio where the city of El Paso took center stage at the Quest for Excellence Conference. During a banquet at the San Antonio River Center, the City of El Paso received the Distinguished Texas Award for Performance Excellence. Members of the city's leadership and performance office team were on hand to receive the award. The Quality Texas Foundation recognized the city for its constant pursuit of excellence that focuses on improving the services it provides our community, engaging our workforce, and optimizing our resources. City Manager Tommy Gonzalez says the noteworthy award demonstrates that the city has a high-quality workforce that produces results. It means, it means good governance, means stewardship of our finances, and, and being able to take care of the citizens' dollars more effectively by having good systems and programs that monitor our dollars more effectively. The city of El Paso is the largest municipality to receive the state award. The conference itself is designed to provide multiple topics aimed at performance excellence. Performance excellence is not limited to municipal government. The city of El Paso, along with the El Paso Independent School District and the University Medical Center received the Texas Inaugural Communities of Excellence Pioneer Level Recognition. The three entities demonstrated a passion and commitment to excellence for our community across three sectors, education, health, and quality of life. The three partners are working together to follow a clear set of values, community, respect, excellence, and opportunity, or CREO, which is Spanish for I believe. Leaders of each taxing entity were on hand to receive the first of its kind award. So the fact that we are partnering together as leaders of the organization and as administrators of the organization only means that it's going to be better for the taxpayers. So it was only natural that we would work with the city of El Paso and El Paso Independent School District so that we would be able to, uh, you know, at least get a, an acknowledgement or a recognition for the things we do already. 
Well, I think we collaborate with others. We learn from them and their, and their best practices. Uh, I think they can also learn from some of our best practices as well. Uh, but most importantly, the duplication of, of services, we can eliminate some of those and provide the, the, the resident better services. By working together, the UMC, EPISD, and the city will continue to make El Paso a top-notch place to live, work, play, and visit. That's all for now from San Antonio. Rick, back to you. In other city happenings, years of hard work, thousands of hours of study, and countless experiences are paying off for more than a dozen El Paso firefighters. During a promotional ceremony, the department honored 20 firefighters. They renewed their oath, while family members pinned new badges recognizing their hard work. Promotional ceremonies are held at least once a year. Congratulations and thank you to all our firefighters for all you do in our community. The El Paso streetcar is now free to ride all summer long through Labor Day. The El Paso Chamber of Commerce, the Downtown Management District, and the Doubletree Hotel are sponsoring their rides every day through Monday, September 2nd. There is also a new streetcar app designed to help riders plan their trips by providing real-time information on the location of all streetcars in service. It's free. Search the El Paso streetcar on Google Play or the App Store. That's going to do it for us on this edition of Your City in 5 from Denver, Colorado at the All-America City Conference. Thank you guys for being part of the team and all your hard work. We'll see you next time on Your City in 5. Yeah.